All right, now at 5 o'clock, some bad behavior during the State of the Union. It's not really new, but last night's speech seemed to hit a new low. At times, it felt less like a speech and more like a rowdy session of the British Parliament. Now, they're used to that in the UK. Yeah. So the question now, is this going to be the new politics as usual here? WBZ political analyst John Keller takes a closer look. Gee, I'm sorry, Dad. I have a date tonight. Would tomorrow be all right? Sure. Just make sure. Yes, you even when you have to go against another's wishes, you can do it agreeably. That vignette is 70 years old. Congress must restore the right. And the Last night, a Republican House Speaker tried in vain to shush members of his own party intent on heckling and name-calling the President of the United States. This leading Republican didn't like it. There's a decorum with the State of the Union, and uh, on either side, I think it's inappropriate. But it was hardly the first time civility has been cast aside at the State of the Union. Remember Speaker Nancy Pelosi's impromptu edit of President Trump's last address? I just thought, what a waste of time it is for everyone, because nothing gets done when, when people start that way. Boston-based etiquette expert Roseanne out. Thomas. Civility actually was invented by politicians so that something could get done, that they could discuss things up, upon which they disagreed and actually without getting into personal insults. Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene was unrepentant. He got exactly what he deserved, and I am not sorry one bit. I'm thinking to myself, I wouldn't feel respected around her I would or at least I would feel that I could be subject to disrespect at any given time and so I I would distance myself from someone like that and it seems quite a few swing voters felt the same way as Biden posted some of his most positive ratings in months in the first post speech polling okay so that piece is interesting does that suggest that there is some kind of backlash against that political behavior well, yes, maybe, I mean, Lisa. <laughs> we'll see. Well, uh, you could look back at the incivility of the Trump years and draw a direct connection with Trump's loss of first the House, then the White House and the Senate. Research did show that swing voters, especially women, turned away in disgust from Trump, uh, largely over behavior. But you can also make a case that in this era, abusive trolling and invective is what gets clicks, talk show ratings, and keeps your political base aroused. So I don't think think you've seen the last of it. Probably the president's not. benefiting for now, but as for the future, we'll see, as you put it. And that civility was created by politicians. Hard to believe, <laughs> Who isn't knew? it? Yes. A long, long time ago. Very long. John, thank you.